Oh man, last week was so epic. Bruno shipped the Super Tuesday for 27k. I was railing it yesterday, so I've slept only four hours. Oh man, that was so epic. This week, we're all alone. It's a getaway, so we're headed to London. Espen and Bruno are staying in Thailand, grinding online. I'm heading off to play the cash game festival. It's only gonna be cash games, and I'm used to playing tournaments, so it's gonna be a bit of iffy. Definitely gonna put out heaps of hand history, so if this is for you, stay tuned. <sighs> They use pounds here, we use euros and uh, I do have pounds but not that many with me because I kind of forgot. So let's see, I uh, hope he is the bankroll for this trip given that we're playing cash games. Alright. So it turns out we have only 250 pounds on us so it's gonna be sketchy. I think we need to start from 1-2 uh, or what is the lowest game they have. Hopefully double up and we don't need to use the ATM. Let's see how it turns out. It's past 2 a.m. I am fairly tired and it seems that our game just died. Uh, died. I was playing 1-2. I started at 11 so I played for 3 hours 15 minutes ish and stacks got fairly deep. I started with 200 aka 100 big blinds ended up with 630 yeah whatever 400 up something so pretty solid cooler one guy for a big pot and uh, that was like most of it but let's go through one hand at least because i wrote down a couple so what i do here is uh, i write down hands on my phone after i play them if i find it interesting and i want to go through it uh, with a solver or ask my friends so i find bouncing ideas with my mates one of the best ways um, to learn to improve and then using solvers to double check everything as well but the quickest way just is bouncing back bouncing back ideas back and forth so that's one of the reasons why it's really important to live and surround yourself with uh, like-minded people and people who do the same thing so I'm really lucky to have Ron and Espen my housemates anyway let's see if I can find a hand maybe the most interesting one is the first hand I played so let's uh, get into that one. I'm gonna use my phone because I have my notes here so it's more simple for me but I'll try not to be really dull when I talk about that hand so all right I've just sat down I folded a couple of hands and uh, it's a real first real hand I play I open under the gun but it's actually low jack because there's six players I make it seven it's one and two blinds we have king jack off so I raise it to seven and only big blind calls. We go to a four. It's king five three rainbow, so we have a top pair. No, it was two tone. There was two spades and a club. Two clubs and a spade. So I make it one third, which I think is actually too small given we play deep stack poker. This is like me tournament play, play my first hand here and make it so small. Will and snap raises it to three X to 15, which is exactly the pot as well. I don't waste too much time, I call, and the pot is 45. Let's see, what's the third card? It's a four of diamonds. Hmm. So it's king, five, three, and four of diamonds. And so I'm kind, I'm not a big fan of the card, because I think Willen could have six, seven as his bluff, check raise. He could have four, six, four deuce. Uh, so six, seven gets a straight four deuce, four, six have a pair there. And they might continue. Willen thinks a bit, and then bets 23, pretty much out the pot. I'm like, well, I'm gonna peel one off. Uh, I call river is another four, four of hearts, so the pot is now mm, like 90 pretty much, 91, and Willen thinks even longer and makes a small bet, 27, I was 27 quite sure, yes, and I take my time, like it looks really valueish, but it's such a small sizing, I'm hoping that maybe he played like king 10 this way as well, mm, I call and we chop it up, uh, he has the same hand, and that was the first hand we played.
day two morning stroll well some call it morning it's past 2 p.m. but uh, well yesterday we only played for three hours I was really tired got in really late kids playing we're next to school it's pretty loud but it is what it is we're wandering around the Olympic Park here Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park UK's everything's Queen Elizabeth anyhow today just morning stroll collecting some b-roll footage gonna hit the game soon I want to do my daily one hour study before as well so let's find the sweet spot to read <laughs> Checks, sweet. Let's raise it up. We're playing one two with a straddle of four, six players. We're on the hijack. I'm going for well here. Let's five exit, make 20. So on our left, there's a Romanian guy on the cutoff, and he's playing really, really passive and really, really loose. So he always, he literally always flats like e6 off, check it off. I've seen him like everything. And now he free bets. What's going on? And he makes it 43. So I made 20, he made it 43. This is such a small size. I think I have 320 behind. We're 80 bigs effective. Ah, it's so hard to give him free bet bluffs here because he's just so passive and loose. Should we just get it in? Nah, we're 80 bigs effective. Just peel that sizing. Reps such a narrow range, but yeah, it's just take to the streets. We're still 80 bigs effective. Let's see what the flop brings. No way. Really check a three rainbow. We have a top set. Obviously we check here. We check our whole range. Let's see what sizing he takes. The pop is like 90 pretty much. 91. Oh wow, he's going massive. 78. We're definitely tanking here. And then we're obviously calling. Like in these spots, I really like to take my time. I don't want to snap. I try to think what would I be doing with 10s and 9s. Hands that aren't really comfortable calls. So yeah, the stack to bot ratio is really low now. It's, there's only one more bet going in. And this turn car. Super safe for us. He's repping so narrow with his min, like click free bet free flop. And now he states, I'm all in. And when he pushes his chips in, I'm like so snapping. I'm like, no time wasting anymore. And obviously, in slow motion, we snap it off. Oh, do you have jacks? He asks. And yep. Like in these spots, I open up my cards when I have, I have the nuts. I know a lot of cash game players usually don't open up their cards, but me as a tournament player, I don't mind. When I have the nuts, I'll show it. And a safe river. We are shipping this pot. The turn bet size from him was like 170. 
So we rate in a 700, <laughs> it's not euros, man. It's 700 pounds, Stoke Das, and unlucky cooler for our opponent. This was my trip at the Cash Game Festival. Five days, <laughs> crazy game, six card PLO, whatever, playing it first time. Ended up playing close to 40 hours, profiting more than 1500 euros, so definitely happy about the score. I learned a lot about myself, I learned a lot about patience, and if sometimes things don't go your way, just keep at it. Think about the goal you have in your mind. And at this trip, my goal was to put in volume, grind eight hour days, and I did that. You also saw that the hand history was a bit different. So we're trying out the new way of doing it. So definitely feedback is more than welcome. Let us know, did you like it? Or you, you were like, what is this? Next episode will be all about tournament poker. We have summer showdown here in Tallinn. After that, Unibet Open Bucharest. And then again, Cash Game Festival in Bulgaria. I've never been to Sunny Beach before. And if you guys want to join us, look it up. Links below. Yeah, catch you in the next episode.